Oh, isn't she pretty and cute? It's just a shame she's so dumb. Oh, now, Thunderfoot, how can you besmirch a pretty young thing like that? Justify yourself, man. Well, okay. First, what is she wearing on her head? Yeah, this girl thinks that wearing a sheet over her head will show an ancient magical desert spectre that she respects him. But shouldn't we respect her faith and religion? Well, no. Simply no. And I'll tell you why. You see, all cults and religions put up these barriers to make it harder to leave. They have repetitive rituals that socially make it hard to leave the religion. And I have to give it to it, Islam is king when it comes to these barriers. For instance, wear a sheet on your head and it will show an ancient magical desert genie that you respect him. And if you don't, you are instantly recognisable as a social pariah. I mean, come on, why would an all-powerful god really care about what you wear on your head? Or shaving is evil and growing a beard will please the ancient desert magical pixie. And of course, not conforming will make you instantly recognisable as a social pariah. But come on, why would a powerful god actually care what happens to what comes out of the hair follicles on your face? Or get down on your knees five times a day? After all, praying five times as often might not be any more effective than a prayer convention in Texas praying for rain. But damn, five times a day makes it virtually impossible for your typical herding human to escape the cause of the religion. And then, of course, leave Islam and we will kill you. What is the penalty for leaving the Muslim faith? Um, to be honest, I cannot back that point up. Dr. Mukadam, not... what is the penalty for apostasy? Well, um, before... We keep coming down this apostasy. Give us a quick answer on what is the penalty for apostasy. Let me come You very well know, if it's an Islamic country, then the Sharia is very clear. Apostasy is dealt with the death penalty. Thank you, that's what I want to You know, like that guy in Iran at the moment who was purportedly born a Muslim. So now that he's grown up and says that he's a Christian, this obviously means that under Islamic law, as practiced in an Islamic country, that he should be executed. It's all designed to create social conformity to the religion and to make it harder to leave. So no, I have no respect, none whatsoever, for a woman who embraces the very tools of her social thraldom, no matter how well it's accessorized. To me, putting a sheet over your head to appease some desert spectre commands exactly as much respect as putting a box of ramen noodles down your jockstrap to show the flying spaghetti monster how much you love him. But that's not the only reason this Islamic makeup girl is dumb. She abused the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. She filed DMCA's for her own purposes when Pothole 54 had the temerity to draw attention to her scientific illiteracy that she decided to vocally parade on YouTube. Sorry, girl, but that's a big no-no. You choose to inject your scientific illiteracy into this forum. But first and foremost, I'm a scientist with a first-class honours degree in human biology from a top British university. Yes, I believe that the first human being, our ancestor Adam, peace be upon him, was created by God in heaven. And now you have no grounds whatsoever to complain when you get called on it. Now, a more compassionate and understanding guy than Pothole of 54 you will not find. But I'm not potholer. Indeed, for me, this free and open forum thing is one of those black and white, never compromise type issues. Never compromise. Not even in the face of Armageddon. It's always been the difference between us, Daniel. You see, when you filed those DMCAs, you claimed under penalty of perjury, a criminal offence, that you owned the copyright. And when the counter notices were filed and you did not sue, you de facto lost. Indeed, you can be sued for doing it. Further, it also puts you on pretty shaky ground for maintaining a YouTube account, as you claim that you are making the claim in good faith, and that your account will be terminated if it wasn't. Now, I've got a pretty dim view of commercial makeup bimbos, Islamic or not, who elect to abuse a legal instrument designed for the fiscal protection of copyright because their skin albeit very heavily chemically treated skin, isn't thick enough to take the mildest of criticisms from the most mild-mannered folks like Potholer54. Further, I have to say that your excuses for abusing the DMCA are risible. 
Indeed, you might as well mean parroting word for word PCS. And this is how he ended up. This is an apology from myself to Thunderfoot and other YouTube users. I confirm that the contents of this apology are true and accurate. My username on YouTube is VenomFangX. As many of you may know, there has been a dispute between Thunderfoot and myself over the past few weeks. We have resolved that dispute, and as part of the resolution, I am here to express my regret for the misuse of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act to serve takedown notices in relation to a number of Thunderfoot's videos on YouTube. Now, if you and your staff had just admitted that you got it wrong and that you'd abused the DMCA out of naivety, I could have let this one slide and we could have chalked it up to Allah giving you bad advice because he wasn't up to speed on modern copyright law or something. But that's not what happened. You acted like you'd done nothing wrong. And that's a bull. And it sets a lousy precedent. And that's why I'm making this video. So you can file a DMC against this video in bad faith if you want. And when you lose the counter notice, we will see if YouTube makes good on its promise to terminate the accounts of those who persistently abuse the legal instrument of the DMCA.